It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Washington Commanders, and it comes your way next. We are just east of the U.S. Capitol, about eight miles or so at the home of the Commanders, Northwest Stadium in Landover. Thanks for having us in, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Greg, this is one that the defensive coordinators have had a long week because these quarterbacks, you can prepare and prepare for them, but because of their legs, you never know what they're going to do. Yeah, when the play breaks down, I think that's where the real fun begins. I mean, it is just so hard. You mentioned it. These defensive coordinators, they spend all week, and every time the ball is snapped, you really have to defend two plays. And what I mean is you defend the initial play that is called by the offense in the huddle, and then you also have to defend the scramble play, the breakdown, the improv. That's what makes these quarterbacks so dangerous, and it just takes one breakdown defensively for a big play, and it's six. Here's Austin Seibert to get this one started. And off we go from Northwest Stadium in Landover. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Steelers led out by their quarterback, Russell Wilson. Still strange to not see him in a Seattle uniform where he was for a decade, a couple of years with the Broncos. And now, Greg, the nine-time Pro Bowler, year one in Pittsburgh. I had a coach tell me earlier in my career, Mike, specifically about the quarterback position. If you don't have fast feet, you better have a fast mind. And here we have a guy that has played a lot of games under center. He has seen a lot of football. And while he might not be as mobile, he might not have the arm strength to make all the throws he had earlier in his career, that experience behind... Oh, no, right at the start, he loses the football. Ah, but he'll gather it back in. Well, the pressure was on there, and they do get him for the sack. Almost got a turnover out of it as well, Greg. Fortunate to keep possession. Really fortunate, Mike. That ball ended up kind of bouncing back into a spot where the quarterback was able to fall on it, but you mentioned it. That play was very close to being a complete disaster for the offense. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. On the ground, it's Jalen Warren. That will make third down a little more manageable. Good yardage gained on that one. When you're backed up, it's second and a mile. There's not a lot of great options. What you're trying to do is pick up half. Give yourself a chance on third down to extend this drive. That's exactly what they did here, keeping the ball on the ground. It sets up third down. Third down, here's Wilson. He's going to take a shot down the field. That is hot! And he will take this one in. 72 yards. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Terrific way to start this one, Greg, on the opening drive. Getting the ball in the air, down the field, and into the end zone for six. We wondered all week, Mike, if this secondary would get tested, especially as the game progressed. Well, we didn't have to wait very long. I mean, a big play early, and we got ourselves a 6-0 ball game. Chris Boswell on for the point after. It's up and through. And the Steelers will take a 7-0 lead. Boswell now following the touchdown. Back out to kick this one off. Austin Eckler now to return. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The commanders come out with the man they hope leads them into their new era. Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick 
in this past draft from LSU. Greg, this is the man who won the Heisman Trophy with the Tigers in Baton Rouge a year ago. Here we have a guy, Mike, who's probably one of the most dynamic athletes that we have in the entire NFL at the quarterback position. He can create so many problems for a defense with his legs, but make no mistake about it. He is far from one dimensional. He's both willing and able to carve a defense up with his arm while using his legs as more of a secondary weapon. If there's one knock on his game at this very moment, it's the fact that occasionally he'll kind of lay one up from time to time. Nonetheless, if he's on his A game in this one, we could be in for a real treat. So from the 36, it is first and 10. First carry of the game for Brian Robinson. What more could you ask for on first down? Nice run of eight, setting up second and short. Another run here for Robinson. He'll take this forward for about a yard at best. Make a Fitzpatrick up to make the stop. Third and a yard. Ben in motion is Brown. They'll try to run for it with Robinson. He's got nowhere to go. The defensive front controlling the line of scrimmage there. And that's going to bring up fourth down. That's just a great job defensively, Mike. Here's a chance they have to get off the field. They sell out for the run. They know it's coming. And they're able to force a fourth down. On fourth down, the commander is going to send out their veteran, Tress Way, to punt. Calvin Austin, deep for the Steelers. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Steelers' offense and running back Najee Harris getting set to take over once more. And he's been a big component of the passing game so far. You see the numbers here in the first half. This defense is going to need to find a way to key in on him because he's eating them up right now. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Russ. Pressure gets there, and down he goes. This offense came into this drive hoping to extend their narrow lead, Mike, but instead, after first down, they find themselves in second and forever following that big sack right out of the gate. From the gun, it's Wilson. Going for it all. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Rough sequence over these last couple plays. First down sack. Second down big play attempt. Falls incomplete. Now, to make matters worse, you've got to operate in third and long on a defense that knows they can just pin their ears back and try to get after the quarterback. A dive and a catch. Incredible. you got to catch them all, Mike. That's what you get paid to do. Not every ball is going to be perfectly thrown. And this is a great example. When you give maximum effort on every play on the field, man, it's funny how good things just tend to happen. Here's the replacement for Cameron Johnston. Corliss Waitman on to punt. Alamade Zacchaeus deep to return. Fair catch is called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. The commander's offense ready to take over for their second possession. 
They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. The pass protection's been a little bit shaky at times, and that was the case there. And even though they're not going to go down for allowing a sack, it was allowing the pressure that ultimately prevented that pass from being completed. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Give to Robinson from the pistol. He'll manage only about three, so it will bring up third down. They'll go play action here with Daniel. And that is incomplete. The whole idea of the play-action pass, Mike, is that you can slow the pass rush down enough that it allows longer, slower developing pass concepts to open up downfield. But in this case, they were on him so fast that by the time he got his head around, that ball needed to come out. There was no timing and ultimately led in an incompletion. And he'll be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. Here comes the Pittsburgh offense now, heading back onto the field. They lead it here early 7-0 as they start with a first and 10. for the first time with Najee Harris. And the D closes quickly. He stopped after a gain of a yard. The veteran Bobby Wagner in there on the stop. Here's second and nine. Another run here with Harris. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. From the shotgun, Wilson. He's got his tight end. That's fire move. A great connection there. They're going to bring it down inside the 35-yard line. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Out of the gun, it's Wilson. He'll go right back to Fryermuth. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us, and right now this defense has no answers. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for George Pickens there, and it'll be third down. 
You have to come down with those opportunities. You're not going to get your hands on the ball very often as a defensive player. And when you do, let alone in the end zone, those are plays you just have to make. Wilson now to throw on third down. And the quarterback scrambling maneuvers his way back to the line of scrimmage. But that's all he can get out of that one. Give him credit for keeping this play alive as long as he could. This easily could have gone down for a loss, but he's kind of able to find his way forward and at least get back to the line of scrimmage. So instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. Boswell's kick is good. And the Steelers will extend to a 10-0 lead. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone, and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through, and they get three. So the lead is now 10-0 as this kicks away. On the return, Noah Igbenogany. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. They'll come up here first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Robinson. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. So after one, it's the Steelers with the early lead. It's the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back after this. A good spot here, second and a yard. Now this is going to be a design run. They let him keep it. He's taken down, but just shy of midfield. Mike, I think every offense would love to be able to call designed runs for their quarterback, but it's so dependent of who that quarterback is. And for this team, to be able to have that guy behind center, it just adds a different element to what they can do on offense. Daniels now on first down. Finding the veteran tight end, Zach Ertz. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest gain. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. First carry for the versatile Austin Eckler. And he's close to the first down. Gets four yards on the gain, but it will bring up third down. They'll empty out the backfield as they come up for third and a yard. Third and a yard, it's Daniels. And it looks like he's going to have the first down. The defense was right there, but a gain of two. Good enough for the first down. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback, getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, He's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. On second down, it's a run with Robinson. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Coming off that edge, Mike, you have to quickly determine, is this a pass or is it a run? And once he realized it was a run, he's able to shed his blocker, make the play, no game. 
Here now, third and five. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. We're starting to see a lot of this on third down, Mike, where they're going to rely on the run after catch to pick up these third down conversions. You know what that depends on? You have to actually complete the ball. And in this case, it falls incomplete, brings up fourth down. Seibert's kick is good. And the commanders are on the board. It's now 10-3. to three. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. So here's Cyber made the field goal a moment ago, and now we'll kick this one away. On the return, here comes Cordero Patterson. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The Steelers' offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and 10. This drive begins with a run by Harris. And he is fortunate to get past the line of scrimmage. Call it a yard at most. It was Jeremy Chin that time up to make the stop. Here's a second and nine. Now Russ. That's over the middle and taken in by Firemuth. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll try and run it here with Warren. Good work on the ground. He's got it. First down. Up at about the 42. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. On the handoff, it's Harris. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Here's second and three to go. They send Firemuth, the tight end, in motion. They go play action now. Wilson. Down the field. He's got Washington. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. What a luxury that certain teams, when they have a guy like this, I mean, not only is he the big target, but then to have that size and speed to run away from these linebackers and do so much of his damage after the catch. Here's first and 10. Now Wilson. This one complete to Washington. And he's going to be taken down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays. And that was a good one there. 
You could tell the entire time that running back is just looking for his crease to get vertical and cut back. But the defense does a great job. Inside out pursuit, strings this ball out towards the sideline. Nowhere to go, and they make a big stop for no game. One more time, it's Harris. And the defense stiffening here. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Third and goal coming up. Give credit to this defense, Mike. Their back's against the wall, and they're standing tall so far. Nothing on those first two runs. We'll see what the offense has in store now as they bring up third down. This is the eighth play of this drive, and it's third and goal. That's caught. Right side, it's fire move. Two minutes to go here till halftime. We'll be back just outside the nation's capital after this. Here comes Chris Boswell to try a field goal. This, about as short as you can get. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Steelers going to tack on three more, extending the lead here late in the first half. Back out is Boswell following the field goal. He'll send this one away. Returning is Igbenogany. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The commander's offense starting to trot out for this next possession. They're in a 10-point hold. It's 13-3 as this drive starts with first down. Throwing is Daniels. Now they'll set up the screen to Eckler. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game, but I like in this case the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screen play still in the back of their head. Firing right side, brought in by Brown. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. He's got his tight end. There's Ertz. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Keep it in the air. Here's Daniels. And this one's going to be a loss of yardage. He's marked out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. What they teach these backs is when you catch a check down, immediately try to get vertical. Try to put a hole in the defense coming to rally tackle. So give credit to the defense here. They strung this out and made him go sideways. And they forced him to go so far sideways, he went out of bounds. Daniels to throw on second down. Now he takes off. The key to a good quarterback scramble, Mike, is knowing when it's time to go from a thrower to a runner. And that's exactly what we saw here. Doesn't get the first down, but he's able to pick up some really positive yards and then get out of bounds.
third and short, and it's Daniel. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five, but it will keep the drive going. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. Throwing on second down, Daniel. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Daniels going to throw again. Taking off, he'll try to get there. Now the Commanders will use their third and final timeout. Austin Seibert now for this field goal try. Officially a 29-yard attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Commanders are able to get it back within a score. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well. You're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. Three seconds, all that remain in this first half as that one's away. The return team going to let that one go. It'll go through the end zone. It's a touchback. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Wilson to throw. He'll let it go deep left sideline. That is hard. And he's going to be out of bounds. Triple zeros up there on the clock. We have reached the end of the first half. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Reports. Coach, thanks. This one's still anyone's game. We'll see who can come out with the hot hand in this second half. About to get started. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go, and the second half is underway. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The commander's offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Woo! 
Here's second and six. The tight end, Ertz, in motion. On the give, it's Robinson. Robinson, a first down, and Wool. And he's taken down, but just shy of midfield. Remember this one thing, Mike. It is not how well or how often you run the ball in the NFL. It's when do you run the ball well in the NFL. And I think that's what a lot of these offensive play callers are starting to realize. Can you run the ball well in critical moments of the game? More important than how many gross yards you run for. To throw is Daniels on first and 10. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. On play action, Daniels. The second down throw is incomplete. Pretty unforgettable performance so far in the first half, Mike, and they're going to try to figure this out here in the second half and try to gain some momentum, figure out what's going to work, where are our matchups, and let's go try to put a drive together and get some points because so far this has been a struggle and they just cannot get anything going through the air. He'll try to run for it. And the quarterback scrambling maneuvers his way back to the line of scrimmage. But that's all he can get out of that one. So often the best pass defense is a good pass rush. And that's exactly what we saw here. The pass rush disrupted this play from the very start. The quarterback has all of his attention on the rushers rather than his receivers downfield. All he can manage to do is get back to the original line of scrimmage. The commanders set to kick this one away. And we will not have a return here. This one angle out of bounds. The Steelers offense and Russell Wilson set to take over once more. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. They'll start this on the ground, and it's Harris. And he'll only be able to muster a couple of yards. Benjamin St. Juiced there on the tackle. Second down and eight. He'll give it to Harris again. And the defense there to meet him. They'll hold him to two and bring up third down. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks, and now they got a fourth down decision to make. Uh-huh. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. Here comes the Washington offense now. They get set to take over. They'll see if they can put something together here. Beginning with first and ten. Forward for about four. 
It's second down. They went to the design quarterback run, and there just wasn't a lot of space for the quarterback to operate. You can see him kind of waiting for some of the blocks to develop. Never transpired. Didn't get a whole lot going. Short game. The motion man here is McClure. Third and five. They'll go play action here with Daniel. He'll get this one complete to Brown. A nice throw by the rookie from LSU. And he's got his team a first down. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch, and it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. Set to go now on first and 10. They run over center with Robinson. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. On second down, it's Daniels. That's caught by Eckler. And he's not going to be able to get away very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. I think this play is a direct result of his film study. He knew exactly where that ball was going before the play was snapped. And that play recognition, man, it separates a lot of guys in this league and results in a negative play. And that is incomplete. Luke McCaffrey, the intended receiver. And that's going to lead to a fourth down. I think he predetermined that third down throw. And even though the coverage was tight, he still tried to fit the ball in there anyway, and it ended up falling incomplete. I think if he goes through his progressions and has a little bit more trust in his protection, I think there's an easier throw to make out there. The Steelers offense ready to get back at it. They'll do so with first and ten. Austin brought in motion. They fake the jet sweep and give it up the middle. Nice job finding the seam. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. Second and a yard. A run with Harris. And he's going to get the first down up past the 35-yard line. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. First and 10 now from the 36. Now it's Harris. He'll manage to get two, maybe three on that carry. The veteran Bobby Wagner in there on the stop. They face second down and seven. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. He finds Austin with the grab. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield 
to generate explosive plays, and these drag routes can be very, very effective. Oh, the blitz gets there quickly, and down he goes. If there's any silver lining for this drive, Mike, it's the fact that at least this sack occurred on an early down. So I guess technically they have a chance to claw themselves out of this hole, but that's the third sack of the game. And this defense doesn't show any signs of slowing down. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Out of the gun, here's Russ. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down inbounds. So we are through three. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This crowd into it now as we get to third down. Out of the gun, it's Wilson. And that's a veteran quarterback doing what veterans do. Don't take the extra hit. Got the first down, get down. The drive continues. He is dangerous when a play breaks down. A pickup of 18. This is the point in the game, Mike, where on third down, you have to get off the field, and they do a great job. They defend everything in the pass routes, nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball, but they don't keep him in the pocket. They let him escape, picks up the first down with his legs, and they're going to be able to run more time off the clock. On the give, it's Harris. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run, able to take them down for a loss. A run. Here's Harris. And they'll stop it. At least it's an improvement over the last play. They're not losing yardage, but it didn't gain any here. And now it's going to be third down. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. But they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here, keeping it to no gain. On third down, here's Wilson. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. This one has plenty of leg, and it is good. And that could be big. They now take a two-score advantage. Back out is Boswell following the field goal. He'll send this one away. Returning is Igbenogany. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The commander's offense ready to take over possession of the football. And they are still searching for that first touchdown of the game. Greg, this defense that they are going against has been like a brick wall. And especially this front seven. And listen, Mike, we all know this is a passing league. But what you want to do is you want to at least be unpredictable on offense, meaning you want to be in what they call 50-50 downs. I got an equal opportunity to both run or pass based on the down and distance. When you have nothing to show for on first and second down on the ground, you find yourself in must-pass scenarios, and you're playing right into the hands of the defense. They'll stick to the ground. And he's going to get this to the 37-yard line. 
The ability to be effective on first down, Mike, it just makes everything else easier. In the event you do have to face a third down down the road, they're usually a lot more manageable situations, a lot easier to convert. Line of scrimmage is the 37-yard line for first and 10. No one open. He'll drop it to his running back. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. On the zone read, here's Daniels. And it doesn't appear that he got to that first down marker. They'll only give him a yard, so it'll set up third down. A pickup of 12 yards. First down, Washington. And that's a heck of a run there on third and one. So often these backs, they're just thinking, all right, just get one yard, pick up the first down. But not this guy. He's thinking, I know where the marker is, but I'm going to pick up as many yards after that as I can. That's exactly what he does. Fresh set of downs. On first and 10, here's Daniel. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle gets him down behind the line. We call them safeties because they're usually the last line of defense, but not here. On this play, he's up there at the line of scrimmage attacking the offense, and he takes him down for a negative play. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. That ball incomplete. Got the hands in there to break it up. Could have been a big gainer. Instead, it sets up a third down. Can't exactly put my finger on it, but it just seems like this entire game, like this passing game and this quarterback specifically, they've just been off. And whether it's missing these big shots downfield like he did there or just simple underneath layups, there's just something about him today that doesn't look right. And I think it's a big part of the reason they find themselves trailing here in the fourth quarter. Just his first catch, they have held him in check so far, but that one gives him a first down. And this is what the offense needed. Now, after that last completion, you still trail here in the fourth quarter. You need scores, and you need scores fast. So they. This is caught toward the side of the end zone. Luke McCaffrey, touchdown, Washington. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Austin Seibert now for the extra point. The kick is good. Important extra point. The difference is just three, a field goal here in the fourth quarter. So they've cut into the lead. Now just a field goal behind as they kick it off. The visitors' offense getting set to get back to work. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. Thank you. 
give up the middle to Harris. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Here's second and two. Another run here with Harris. And it doesn't appear that he got to that first down marker. They'll only give him a yard, so it'll set up third down. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back for the conclusion. In a moment, third and a yard. They try to run for it with Harris. And he's going to be close to that first down. Looks like he made it past the yellow line. Yes, he did. It is indeed a first down. This is Harris. And quickly, the clock stops again. Defense taking the timeout. A buck 54 to go. They'll try again here. Second and 10. Tight end, the motion man to the right. Here's Harris. Harris, a uh, first down. He's not done. And he's going to take this all the way down to the Steelers' 23-yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an E. Here comes third and six. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So this one, a win for the visiting Steelers. They proved much the best in this one. They get a solid performance in all three phases of the game and ride that to victory. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone.